All right, guys, here we go. The Flower Motorsports Monthly Money Race, race number two. We're doing it in February, and it's at Lima Land. What a track. The Supers are out here. Derek Stewart in that 347 on the outside. There he's got Camden down there, your pole center tonight in the 22 machine. Coy back there, racing into 17. Hunter Rich also making the trip out here tonight. Dylan Prairie back there in the number seven machine. Jamie Kephart back there in the 2K machine, looking fantastic. Cameron. Working his way in the back here in the 38. Blake Bailey finding himself here tonight also uh, in the 11 machine. And Chris Beavers in the 03. So these guys are ready to go. Lights are off the pace truck. And we're going to go 75 laps, guys, here at Lima Land tonight. I'm excited. Flowers, are you ready for tonight's race? Yes, sir, we are. And uh, don't forget about that $15 hard charger we got going. Beavers might have been trying to play a slick one and get that hard charger tonight absolutely as we're green flag racing here at lima land race number two it's green february line. and we're gonna make some money here tonight some driver's gonna win 45 dollars. we got a 15 dollar hard charger as we watch Derek stewart go on the low side here these guys are beating and banging in the back high side hustler cameron camden working that high side right now in that 22 machine everybody else single file here in the back spot your top four running strong here tonight flowers yeah, they look pretty good here tonight, uh, running three wide here. These guys are racing pretty hard here uh, as they get into the lap number three coming up on lap four here. Yeah, so we see Jamie Kephart hiking that left front tire up in the air. Man, beautiful shots there uh, from that uh, boogeyman machine right now as we watch Derek Stewart out of Talladega. Putting on a clinic here as Camden's trying to chase him down. Coy back there trying to improve on last month's race. Finished second. He doesn't want to finish any worse tonight. He definitely wants to get up there and try to get that win as Hunter Rich right now back there in the four spot. Dylan Perry in the five spot. They're bouncing back and forth here on my meter here as they're racing hard with Jamie Kephart uh, out of Georgia also. A couple Georgia boys racing door to door there. Flowers, pretty awesome to see. Yes, sir. Them uh, Georgia guys getting it done right here uh, uh right here in lima land so far door to door uh dylan perry uh actually is not too far off from uh kephart as far as uh distance wise uh irl absolutely now we see koi back here koi's getting involved here with some racing action with hunter rich hunter rich trying to take that inside and Nobody wants to get near the wall. Nobody wants to get any accidents happening because uh, they don't want to get that 15X. We got our first caution out here on the speedway. And uh, we'll be taking a look here exactly what happened on the track. Dylan, Dylan trying to find some action here. But right now, Derek Stewart, like, still your uh, race leader out here. Looks like to me that Beavers got up into the wall there and uh, came down and uh, just collects the guy below him we're watching him race here beavers up into the wall gets a little loosey-goosey with it Still a little loosey with Blake it here. bailey he got Blake bailey in in there with it oh yeah that's he that. didn't get a, a full spin but uh it was enough to bring the caution out first caution of the night all right the first caution of the night that's going to go on chris beavers chris got up into the wall and then came down a little bit on uh blake bailey all right, there's your call for the admin talking there. The admin able to break down the caution here, disciplining who needed discipline. And uh, that's our first one of the night. Second one puts them on the trailer, I believe, here. Uh, they run the same kind of series, I believe. And, uh, yeah, so pace trucks in. Ready to fire them off again. Here we go. They're trying to get their lineup situated here. They're working on that Delaware fa restart here. So a couple guys confused about exactly what they wanted to do here. So, so here we go. They're trying to get their setup here, get these lineups ready to go. The Base trucks in, and uh, can you explain to the viewers exactly what was going on there? So these guys normally they run uh, double file racing, 
the leader in Delaware double file or in Georgia, it's called Dixie double file. Uh, we left the leader. He's, he's out front by himself. Uh, that gives him an advantage on that start. But the guy that's in second place, he gets to choose where he starts inside or out. If he, whichever one he does not choose, uh, so say it does second place chooses the outside, that means third place goes inside. Absolutely. It's an awesome way to get these guys restarted as we see Derek right now and Camden trying to work that second place. Coy back there in the three spot holding on strong as he's got Hunter Rich out there. Dylan Prairie talked to Coy earlier before the race tonight. He definitely wanted to improve on that second place finish, so he's going to have to put into work. He was up late last night putting in some laps here, and uh, we'll see if it's going to pay off for him right now. But he's moving backwards and definitely not going forward, so Coy needs to get on that horse and get rolling here. As we see Jamie Kephart getting into the backside of Blake Bailey there, they're able to keep it rolling here. Jamie Kephart finding himself back in the eighth spot right now as Chris Beavers is struggling here tonight. Chris Beavers back there in the nine. Normally a car you see up front, Flowers. Yeah, and it looks like... Uh... Looks like Dylan Perry uh, in the five spot. Normally, you would see Dylan up front in these races. Uh, right now, Dylan is trying to pass Coy for the four spot. Oh, oh and we got one going around right there. Yeah, we had the camera wow. live on him as we were talking about Dylan Perry. Uh, looks like there was him involved in that. Not sure. I'm not running admin here. I'm just broadcaster, but we see it here and boop, get into the 17. Oh, tough break right there for those guys out here tonight. Mm, hate to see it. Get them lined back up and ready to go here. That's our second caution of the night. The admin will work out. Race control will work out exactly what's going to happen. So it looks like they're handing out the EOL to Dylan Perry there for getting up into the inside of Hunter Rich there, so unfortunate for dylan definitely a front runner here and out of georgia you love them georgia boys so uh finding himself in the back of the pack here tonight all right these guys are ready to go we're gonna get them restarted here rebunch back up they know the deal here. They're giving them them Delaware, Delaware restart here. See exactly what's going to go on here tonight. They he looks like the guy that was uh, sitting on the pole, Camden Johnston, has left the race. Yeah, he did leave the race manually disconnected. Not sure exactly what happened. Uh, with his machine here as we watch these boys battle it out here 26 of the 75 in the books here as we got the 11 machine and here comes koi koi trying to find some speed here up to the two spots where he finished last month he wants to improve on it and jamie kephart sneaking his way up here jamie was just in the back now he's working his way up there currently our big mover of the race hard charger whatever you want to call him up five spots blake bailey right now sitting in that 15 dollar purse so uh Good luck to all these drivers up here trying to hard charge their way to the front as we watch Koi rip that high side right now. And these boys are finding some speed on the high side, but they're also finding a wall, Flowers. Yeah, they uh, get into that wall too much and collect that 15X, which could be a case for Camden Johnston. Uh, if you get to that 15X limit, you will be uh, manually disconnect which no there's nobody up to that uh cameron calmer cameron calmer with a six x he's the closest one to it right now yeah i pulled it up looked at it myself so definitely uh definitely not the issue with him so hopefully we'll figure out exactly what happened to him as we see Derek stewart uh running away with this here man there's it reminds me of flashbacks of last month with michael lake was doing the same thing and he got caught up into a lap car, and it cost him his race. So hopefully Derek's going to have some better luck here and than Michael had last month as Coy's just doing the same thing as he did last month, being in that two spot, trying to find his way up here. Some new faces out here. Hunter Rich, good to see him. Jamie Capart out here racing hard tonight up to the four spot. Dylan Perry back there in the five. And like I said, this hard charger is moving back and forth right now. But now Coy 
setting in the hard charger spot up two spots here so these guys that hard charger is going to fluctuate through this whole race here but uh you know hey wouldn't that be something to win the race and get hard charger <laughs> that'd be oh, awesome yeah, that would be uh if i had to pick a dud right now it would have been our pulse sitter Kendon johnston which manually disconnected i don't know he went from first to ninth so he would have to be the dud i mean that's all right now it, it all it's all gonna play out uh who all collects too many uh incident points uh that that would definitely play a role in who's gonna be the dud and who is gonna be a stud absolutely as we see derek stewart still running away in that victory motorsports owner out there tonight ala talladega as Derek Stewart's hitting that wall pretty hard, but he's uh, he's doing all right. Coy going to find his way up to that two spot here still. Jamie Kephart trying to find something down low. He's in the four spot, bouncing back and forth. Him and Dylan going door to door. Like I said, a couple Georgia boys getting in there as uh, Dylan Perry out there racing for Chip Banger Racing. And we got him out here on the speedway as we got our third caution out here tonight. Not quite sure. Not seeing a whole lot out there, but we'll get some information from race control to see where that caution came out for. Yeah, it came out because uh, if you look at uh, Blake Bailey and I think behind him, Cameron Comer, Cam Cameron Comer just came hard into Blake Bailey. I mean, he, it don't look like he even let off. There wasn't a whole lot there, but... Uh, I felt like that was enough to bring the caution out. All right, Cameron, uh, that's going to be your EOL first one of the night. Uh, you got into the back of Blake Bailey pretty hard. Uh, got to get on that break a little bit. Mm, yeah, it definitely looks like Blake was out of control in our eyes here. We see him coming out of the corner here. Blake just slides up, never turns. He's going up to the wall hard and gets packed in the back by uh, Cameron there. Unfortunate. Yeah, yeah. It looked like he did have a good push, uh, but it looked like Cameron never did lift. I don't know if he thought that uh, maybe Blake was going to stay down lower or what the deal was. But uh, we're back green. Absolutely. We are. Derek Stewart looking to get back out to that big lead here. Is Hunter Rich able to sneak around Coy right now? And as you see some of these guys at the bottom trying to get some feeding going. Hunter Rich up to that two spot right now. Coy back there in the three spot. Dylan Prairie in the four and Jamie Kephart back there in the five. Big mover of the race right now. Still going. Oh, it bounced from back and forth. It's up to Dylan Perry right now. Three, so. wide. three wide as they come around to your start finish line right now. Jamie Kephart in that five spot. Trying to put something together here. But I tell you what, Flowers, Derek Stewart looks like he's got a killer set up tonight. Yeah, he sure does. Derek, uh, he's a pretty good driver. Uh, he, him and Hunter Rich are actually teammates. Hunter Rich in the second spot, Derek out to the one. Uh, so these guys, you see them one, two. Uh, but they uh, are on the same team. Yeah, they're definitely on the same team, and they're looking good here tonight. And like I said, Hunter Rich back there in that two spot. They're all trying to find a way to get up there. But, yeah, Hunter and Derek on the same team right now. As Coy's back there racing for Flower Motorsports in the three spot. And he's got Dylan Prairie back there. Prairie uh, racing for Chip Banger Racing. Uh, all these guys are racing hard right now. As you see Jamie Kephart out here, the only Choice Inc. Esports car to make the trip out here tonight. But good to see at least somebody uh, make it out here for them guys to uh, represent tonight's race. So, uh, yeah, it's fantastic right now. we got 25 to go. Uh, is this track going to only get faster? Is it going to get slower? What's your thoughts, Flowers? Uh, well, it's it's probably not going to get faster, but there is going to be more uh, people moving to the bottom, and uh, I feel like these guys are going to start running that bottom a little bit as we see uh, Coy Blyce trying to dig on the bottom there. Uh, it looks like it's starting to pick up around the bottom a little bit. Uh, it's going to take a little bit. Uh, wearing this track in yeah absolutely it's going to wear it in as you see Derek Stewart blinking a little bit here and that blink giving Hunter Rich a chance to catch back up to him here uh, Derek deciding to take that bottom lane there it doesn't look like it's as fast as that high side that he's been racing all night 
as you see Coy and uh, Dylan back here, they're not coming off that high side. They're, they're staying up there. And it looks like Derek said, hey, I'm going to go back to the top. That's where the speed's at. So good to see him drop back up there and uh, get in line here. Is we're going to have a good battle here. You can put a blanket on your top, you know, your, your two, three, and four spot right now as Derek's running away with the show. As we look at our uh, exes, uh, looks like Cameron Cormer is uh, only one that has a ton of exes. He's got 10 X. 10x everybody else is uh 4x or lower it looks like for me absolutely and that's exactly what you want when you're racing hard and you're racing for some money everybody wants that purse but you got to do it cleanly as we watch the seven machine down there get into some of those actions here dylan dylan prairie down there getting all types of crazy with them tires at the inside those tires man you hit them hard enough they can they can mess up your whole night eh, flowers Oh, yeah, them tires can come out and bite you and bite you hard. Uh, you hit those tires down there on the bottom, you're going to push to the top, and uh, you could have a car that's coming up on the high side, and that can end your night and theirs, too. Absolutely, as we ride along with Coy in the 17 here, just see how tight this track is from inside the cockpit as he's chasing the 17 of Hunter Rich around here. It doesn't take long to clip off these laps. As you see him up into the wall, they're able to try to recover, and he just lost a ton of spots as he gets down into Jamie Kephart here, and that's going to put Perry up to the three spot. Coy back there struggling to hold on as we ride along also with Jamie Kephart bringing you some Choice Inc. eSports action inside of his cockpit. Jamie Kephart racing hard here tonight. I do love the cockpit view here as we're watching these guys, man. You can really see the dirt sliding up, and it's a it's a great track here, Flowers. Yeah, it is. It's a, This is a, a smaller track, but it's a very racy track. Uh, once you get the track where they were in, you know, to uh, where it's not just top dominant. Looks like uh, it's starting to go to this bottom a little bit more. Uh Jamie Kephart is trying to get past Coy on the bottom there. Looks like uh, he's going to do it, too. Yeah, Jamie Kephart able to put that slider on Coy there. Coy back to the five spot. Jamie Kephart sliding up into that four spot right now. Big mover of the race. Big mover going to Perry. Perry going to get that hard charger if he stays true to where he's at right now. But we'll find out here as we got eight to go on the speedway. And these guys have put on quite a show here tonight for you guys. And let me tell you, if you have not checked out Flowers Monthly Money Race Series, make sure you go check him out. He's on Twitch, Johnson25Flowers. Make sure you show him some love. He's got it going on over here. So if you want to win some money by playing some virtual racing, go check out his channel, subscribe, and get involved in his drop-in races Monday through Friday. So go over there, show him some love, like the channel, subscribe if you can. And uh, like I said, be a part of this. Every month we do this. And it's a pretty awesome thing that he does. So if you want to get some extra cash by playing some eye racing, get over there and get subbed up. But right now, we got to finish this one. Five laps to go here at Lima Land, the super late model division out here roaring hard as we watch Derek Stewart just dominate right now. Derek, you see him up top, almost a two-second lead on Hunter. And there's Dylan Prairie back there Look, in that three I'm spot. To put some sliders a minute ago there, uh, Nighthawk. Uh, here he goes as uh, Dylan Perry's going to throw the slider. Yeah, we're watching it and right here. And he gets going to cross him over. Yep, gets that crossover going at 17 with three to go. Everybody wants to get up here and find themselves as uh, as Jamie Kephart in that four spot licking his chops saying, hey, boys, you screw this up. I'm going to slide in there for a top three. And you see the crossover's working right now, but it's going in the advantage of Hunter Rich. He's able to Keep that momentum going as every time he gets a slider going, he just, just puts the puts the brains on, hits the brakes, and dips back down as we go. White flag, bringing out the white flag here tonight at Lima Land for Derek. And Derek's going to take the white flag. Here we go. We'll see if we see any action here from your second and third place driver. You're not missing anything up front right now from Derek, and he's going to win it. Derek Stewart winning it here tonight. Hunter in the two, and Darren, Dylan Prairie rounds out your top three here tonight.